guys, auditions! It's the most common event that every actor faces. Yay! But auditions are very easy to mess up, especially if you're nervous or you don't know what you're doing. That is why I am here. In this video, I'll share with you what I've learned from my experiences, what I've learned from research, what I've learned from going on auditions, and what I've learned from other people. I'm also excited because we'll be having a special guest come on and share some of his own audition tips just for you guys. So stay tuned because this will be a very special video. Number one, make sure you have your sides or your lines memorized. There's nothing worse than going into an audition and stumbling all over the words, which I have done, and messing up and having to look down at your paper instead of looking into the camera or looking at the reader. The worst auditions I've ever had are the auditions where I didn't have my lines memorized. The next thing is to always bring an 8x10 headshot and a resume. A headshot is a picture of yourself and a resume is something that lists your weight, your height, your eye color. No one told me before that I had to make an 8x10 headshot until I was watching this video by Sonia Esmond. Remember when she used to make acting videos? If you didn't know that, a headshot is always an 8x10 picture of you because it fits on the back of your resume. A normal sheet of paper is like 8 by 11 inches or something like that. So you want to have like at least an 8 by 10 headshot. Even if they don't ask for you to bring in your headshot and your resume, you just want to bring it in because they might be pleasantly surprised and they'll be able to see all the things that you've done. Plus, it makes you look way more professional than that kid who didn't bring in their headshot and resume and they actually wanted a headshot and resume. A lot of you ask me if you need a headshot and resume to submit for a self-tape. No, you don't really because you're not going into a room to hand the casting director your resume and headshot. But if they do call you in for a callback, then you're going to want a headshot and resume if they get to meet you in person. Some self-tapes, they'll want you to hold up a piece of paper in front of the camera with your name in big letters, your age in big letters, and your agency or where you live in big letters. I see auditions come out where they ask you to do that. The most important thing is to look very carefully at the instructions and do exactly what the instructions say. Number three is so, so important. Before you come into a room, Please don't come in with an air of desperation like, pick me, pick me, please, I really need this job. This is my dream, please choose me, please, 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 please. No, 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 none of that. It really comes off to the casting director as unprofessional and just not cool. What you wanna do is show them. The way you show them is by being completely prepared for the part. You have your lines memorized, you've done the background work, maybe you went over it with an acting teacher, and when they see that and when they see your uniqueness and they see your energy, then they'll know you really want the part. The best way to come into any audition or any meeting is like a professional. Like you're a seasoned actor who's done this a million times before and you know exactly what you're doing. The best advice I've ever heard on the subject is to come in like you already own the role. Come in like they've already given you this role and you're just coming in for rehearsal. Number four is a random tip, but it's a very important tip. So let's say you have your lines. You don't want to be reading them like this and like read it and having to look down and then back up at the camera. What you wanna do is hold it off to the side like this. Before you go into an audition, make sure you have everything you need. This may mean you need to make a checklist of all the things you need. If you need to bring your dance shoes, if you need to bring different pairs of clothes, if you need to bring your sheet music, extra headshots, extra resumes, all that stuff, make sure you have it with you. You really don't wanna be the one who forgets that stuff. This is part of the same tip. Make sure you come to an audition early. One time we actually came early, it was like 15 minutes early and they st they wanted me to go in right away like I was like what what the heck I can't go in right now I have 15 minutes left and I'm like oh well no we can't go in right now this is another time for somebody else and they're like no we want to see you right now so the next time we came in like 30 minutes early and it was just perfect I had time to sit and to practice and to breathe and to take my time and then I went in for my audition I'm not saying you have to come in 30 minutes early, but you at least want to come in 15 minutes early. Like my friend always says, when you're early, you're on time. When you're on time, you're late. And when you're late, you're dead. Make sure you do as much background work on the character as you can. 
This means finding out what the character wants, who the character is, who the character's family is, what kind of person the character is, who their relationship is to the person in the scene, what their goal is in the scene, what they're trying to get, what is standing in the way of them achieving their goal in that specific scene. Audition classes can help you learn how to break down a script, especially if you're going into a cold reading and you're going to have to read the script cold turkey. Number seven, don't speak too fast and make sure you announce Number eight, don't shake the casting director's hand. It's a big no-no in the industry. Casting directors meet a lot of actors. Like if casting directors shook everyone's hand, they might get sick. So just don't shake their hand unless, of course, they reach out and they want to shake your hand first. And I'll say, well, Marie said that I shouldn't shake your hand, so I won't shake, don't. Don't do that. Number nine, don't apologize. I know this is way backward for a lot of us, especially since we're sensitive actor people, but you don't want to apologize if you mess up. So if you're reading a script and you're like, you mess up over a line, don't say, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna start, can I start over? You need to start over to say, okay, I'm going to start over because if you ask to start over and they're like, no, then you're just gonna have to continue on and it makes things a little awkward. Now, starting over is a very dangerous thing to do because if you start over and you, you're worse than you were before or you're more nervous or you're making even more mistakes, that's pretty bad. So what you really wanna do is just go on as smoothly as you can. They wanna see if you can smoothly move on without coming out of character. When you're in character, you're not think, oh, do the casting directors like me? Um, am I doing this right? Am I gonna get this job? Oh, dang, I just messed up. You're not thinking about your whole surroundings. You're just, it's just you and the reader or it's just you and the camera. And that is what they really wanna see. Number 10 is my last and most important tip for you guys. Don't ever think that you're not good enough to get the role. I made this mistake my first time auditioning ever. It was a pretty big thing. There was like a hundred kids. Everybody wanted to be one of the major characters. And I was just like, you know, I don't really think I can be one of the major characters. You know, I'm not, I'm not like all these people. You know, this is my first time auditioning. I'm not good. I can't, you know, do all the stuff that they're doing. There were so many girls trying out for these characters. It was crazy. I was like, what the heck? But my mom was like, you know, go ahead. This character sounds great for you. And you should just go ahead and do it. So I remember going into the audition. I had my lines memorized. I was prepared. I knew what I was going to do. I think they were pretty impressed because I had the entire thing memorized. And then I went in and I sang a song and I started doing like motions and stuff that my mom had kind of coached me through. And they're like, okay, you know, I think those motions are kind of making you sing off key, so don't do them. And I was like, what? Oh no, I'm not gonna get the part, I can't do it, blah, 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 blah. I remember waiting like a week for them to call back. I was just like praying every day and really, really hoping that I would get the part. I mean, but then, you know, time went on and they didn't call and I was like, okay. Well then, I remember my mom was like, she was on the phone with somebody. She's like, Marie, come here. And I was like, okay. And then she's like, oh yeah, they, they called. And then my mom's like, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's like giving me thumbs up and then she gave the phone to me and, and she was like, oh, well, you know, we wanted to choose you for the part of Brittany. I just remember being so happy and so thankful because they were like, hundreds of people who wanted this part and I was the one who got it. So guys, don't ever think you're not good enough. Don't ever think you're not talented or smart enough. You never ever know. But the worst thing you can do is to give up on yourself and not try. Okay, so now it's time for our special guest, Connor Martin, who's going to be sharing with you guys some of his own audition tips. He's been in tons of musicals, like I'm not kidding. This dude is super talented and has played a lot of major characters on the stage. You should definitely go and check out and subscribe to his YouTube channel. But right now he has some audition tips to help you guys in your auditions. So without further ado, let's watch him. Hey guys, my name is Connor Martin, and today I'm going to give you some tips on acting and how to have successful auditions. Let's start with auditioning. Whether you're doing a video submission audition or a live audition, make sure that you're always in contact with the camera or the person that's auditioning you. You want to show that you really care and are serious about this and show that you are listening to them and they are listening to you. 
Another really important thing is to be prepared. You got to be up for anything that they give you at the audition. You need to walk in and know what you're doing and be ready for anything. They might just say, here's a monologue, do it for us. You got to be ready and know what you're doing. Have a song prepared for your audition and make sure you do what they ask. If they say to do this, have every single thing. Don't add your own little thing in there. Add an extra song. Do exactly what they're looking for. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun making it. And I had so much fun collabing with Connor Martin. You guys should definitely go and check out his channel and subscribe to it. And make sure to leave him lots of nice comments and to be super nice to him as you guys have been to me. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!